All right, everybody. Welcome to JB's RCs. Today we have the RC four-wheel drive Toyota TF2. This was a chassis kit that I built up. I got the Holmes Hobbies Outrunner brushless motor. This is my first crawler running in Outrunner brushless. As you can hear, it is very noisy. If anybody has any ideas on how to quiet that down, please let me know in the comments because it's quite annoying. I'll probably end up turning the volume off on this video just because it's cool to look at but really annoying to hear. So, <laughs> um, Other than that, it came with the uh, Castle Mamba X ESC. I got that all tweaked up, running really nice, very smooth, just very loud. Um, got the deep dish wagon wheel, bead block wagon wheels on there. On the J Concept Landmines 1.9. Fantastic tire. I like these for just about every surface. Uh, one of my favorites. They make them in a few different sizes. Uh, this is the 4.19 size. Very small. Um, still a little big for this truck, but I think it looks alright on there. Hope you guys enjoyed the video. If you have any questions about the build, just let me know in the comments. I'll talk to you soon. As you can see here, that modulation on that Outrunner is fantastic. Lots of low-end torque on that as well. It's just wish it wasn't so noisy. Um, I've heard other ones that are very not noisy at all. Matter of fact, there's actually a Holmes Hobbies ESC that I've seen that's completely quiet, but I can't seem to find one even on their website. Um, they all seem to be brushed ESCs, not brushless. Um, and this is the um, actual ESC that they recommended when I bought this motor from Holmes Hobbies was this Mambo Micro X from Castle um, Also known to be very finicky with their wiring So I have another one on a different truck that I'm still having issues with and I can't figure out <laughs> So we'll figure out that hopefully and get a video up on that one uh, Also, this is my first leaf spring truck and I will have to say in case you haven't noticed it is very stiff I took the springs out of the shocks completely and they have very little oil in them. On the front, I took the smallest of three of the leaf springs out, and on the back, I took two of the three leaf springs out. So there's only one leaf spring on that back, and it's still super stiff, and this truck's quite heavy. I'd say probably a good 10, 11 pounds. Um, it's a lot of metal. The gearbox is quite heavy. Um, that is one thing as well with this chassis. The axles and the gearbox were already put together, which was kind of strange. It actually took me longer to put the body together on this than it did the chassis. Um, same with the shocks, all put together with the springs and the oil and everything in them, which sure saves some time, but when I'm building something, I want to build it myself. I want to make sure those axles are greased. I want to make sure that transmission's greased. Um, those uh, shocks I would want to put my own oil, own oil into to make them um, my own stiffness, softness. So there was a lot of extra stuff that had to be done, taking things apart just to check. Um, and there was very little grease in the gearbox and almost none in the axles. So I added some there. Um, like I said, I already pulled the shocks apart, took a 
little bit of oil out and the springs that were in there out as well. So I hope you guys are enjoying the video. I do love this purple paint on here. Um, I don't think it was the right paint for the application. This is a hard body. Um, so we'll have to see if I can do something about that in the future with some other hard bodies, but I still think it came out okay. It's a little faded. You can see through it in a couple spots um, and it is a little bit rough on the surface even with the clear coats on there. So we'll work on that. I'm used to my clear polycarbonate bodies. We'll see how it goes from here on. Uh, just a few decals on there. This is my first run on this, just testing it out. So I will be adding some more decals, stickers, license plates, and also the front bumper. I completely left off, except for one small little piece. I don't know if you'll see it on there on any of these front shots, but it's just a little tiny bar right underneath the bumper there, just to help a little bit with rubbing. Um, back one I didn't add because it's kind of big and sticks out. Um, and I do have the side runners on there still. Um, I think I'll keep those on because it does, like I said, not articulate very well. So those sides will probably help hopefully to round it out. But hope you guys are having a great day. Uh, please like, comment, subscribe, smash that notification button if you haven't already. Lots of videos and giveaways coming. So I hope you're having a great day. Happy Father's Day out there to all you dads. And we'll talk to you soon. Oh yeah, so I forgot to mention, I got a 45 kg Metal Gear waterproof servo in here. I'm running a Fly Sky RX TX in this. It's one of the digital screen ones that I really don't like. Um, just a lot more difficult. Just give me the switches and the buttons. I'm a simple guy. All this digital scrolling and 15 different options for stuff. It's kind of ridiculous, I won't lie. <laughs> uh, all these bells and whistles they put on here with high and low overdrive locking and locking rear and front diffs come on i want a four-wheel drive i don't need a locking diff um two speed maybe but i can change motors and gearboxes and batteries to increase or decrease my speed not necessary either um does add some weight but i can add weight as well give me some brass give me some metal I'll tear it up so i do love the truck though i think it looks great it'll definitely be a good trail truck not crazy rock crawler i don't think but <laughs> Anyways, hope you guys enjoyed the video. Hope you're all having a great weekend out there. And we'll see you next time. Get out there and have some fun.